Here's how to remove SOS on your iPhone. Now, if I swipe down from the top right here, you can see SOS only, or if I'm out of here at the very top right is SOS. Now you might be wondering what that is. It says, if you see SOS or SOS only, your device, your iPhone, isn't connected to a cellular network, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint T-Mobile, whatever you may have. Now you can turn this off by just heading into your settings here and tap on cellular. In my case, I turned off my eSIM, but if you tap on it and just turn the line back on, it should remove that SOS at the very top right and switch it to AT&T. Now, if you don't already have an eSIM on here, just of course add an eSIM so that you can connect to a cellular network, whatever you might have. If you already connected, you have an eSIM and it's just not working, you can always scroll down, tap on general, at the very bottom, let's hit transfer or reset iPhone and hit reset. Now you can see reset network settings here. Let's choose that and enter the passcode here. So it says on here, it will delete all your network settings and re, uh, return them back to the factory default. So again, this fixes a lot of bugs and glitches with eSIMs and with connecting to your cell carrier, wherever the nearby tower is. After you've done that, if that still doesn't work, let's go back here, tap on about at the very top, and then we'll scroll down and you can see here carrier under network is AT&T 61.0. Now on here, if there is a carrier update for that basically kind of software program that is downloaded onto your iPhone from the carrier, it will just pop up and say, hey, there's a carrier update to update your connection with your what carrier, whatever it may be, again, AT&T, Verizon, whatever. Now just update that and that should fix it. The last thing that I would recommend doing is going back into your settings. Let's go back, tap on the shutdown button at the very bottom. So just turn off your phone and restart it. A lot of times this reconnects from your phone to the closest tower, wherever it may be, and that should fix or remove that SOS only. If that doesn't fix it, then most likely your phone just is in a bad spot where it doesn't have good signal. Keep in mind, if I took this iPhone to the top of a mountain somewhere or a desert where there's no towers nearby, then essentially it won't be able to connect to any tower and it'll just show as SOS only, indicating that I can make emergency calls using satellites or some other carrier's towers if there's an emergency. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks, guys.